How you guys doing? This is Ray, and in this video, I want to talk about a session that wasn't recorded with a click track. We don't know the tempo, and I'm going to show you how to deal with this problem. How many of you guys receive sessions like this? A buddy of yours tells you, here's a session, mix it for me. You open the session, there's no click track, the timing is off, and you have to sit there and solve this problem. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to play for you guys. Yeah, as you can hear, timing's all over the place. We need to find the tempo. So this is actually not as hard as you think. So I'm gonna grab the tracks and I'm gonna just put them right here. And make this a little bigger. There you go. So the first thing I wanna do, I wanna tap to transient, then I wanna press Control I, and we're gonna change the beginning to bar one. By default, the beginning of the session would be right there. That would be bar one. But to do this, I just wanted to change that. So right now, this is bar one. We're going to figure out the tempo. And there's two ways to do this. First way would be tap the tempo. And a lot of you guys already know this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to allow Pro Tools to figure out the tempo by counting bars. Check it out. So if I'm correct, this should be bar two. So I'm gonna to tap to transient, control I, and it's already set to two. So press okay. Nothing happened, and I think I know why. I have to tell it, just put two, just there you go. I had to put the number two. And now we're recalculated, as you can see, it's 86.1386. I'm pretty sure we could get rid of that back number and just make one solid number 86. So let's do that. I'm going to grab this all the way back to the beginning and this as well. Get rid of this. I'm going to uh, change this number now to 86. I'm going to turn on the click track and you know what? The click track is kind of annoying. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit. You guys should still be able to hear that. Let's see if the click track uh, is somewhat close to where we need it to be. All right, maybe it's a little too low, so let's bring that a little back up. So far, it's pretty close. And I was pretty positive that we didn't need all those extra digits. Sometimes there's going to be tempo changes in a song, and the best way to do it is allowing Pro Tools to do the calculation for you. So you just count the bars, and Pro Tools will automatically figure that out. It's an amazing function. So that's why I did it this way. I wanted to show you guys how to get the tempo. But Pro Tools has this cool feature that I love to use and it's called Beat Detective. So let's open that by holding Control and the number eight on your keyboard. And there are multiple ways to do this. We can work with all the tracks at the same time or we can do them one by one. And I'm gonna do them one by one. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come to this option here, Groove Template Extraction. I wanna capture selection. And I want to analyze and I want to actually see what I'm doing. Zoom in. You want to make sure Pro Tools added a marker right in front of each transient, right in front of each hit. And as you can see, it did. So the next option would be clip separation. So let's separate. And what that did, it just separated each individual uh, clip. The third option would be clip conform and this is where it's going to quantize now i'm going to leave everything at default so the strength i'm going to leave it at 100 the other options i'm not going to mess with them if you need to do it and i'm going to conform nice one thing i forgot to mention and i should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video make sure you set your grid to the proper settings before you do any of this if you don't have your grid set up properly then it's just not going to work so it's a very important thing so now that i separated conformed Let's uh, solo the hi-hat and let's play the hi-hat and the click track back together and see what happens. Nice. Something else that I like to do, edit smoothing. Sometimes when you separate clips, you might hear pops and clicks. So again, something I'm gonna leave at default. You can mess with these settings. You can find what works for you. But for the meantime, I'm gonna keep everything the way it is, crossfades, normally I like to keep at three. So smooth, 
Nice. Let's play that back. All right, so that's pretty much done. Let's take a listen to the snare now. Yeah, that sounds horrible. So we're going to do the same thing. Capture selection. Well, make sure we select it. Capture selection. Analyze. Make sure Pro Tools put a marker right in the beginning of each transient. We're going to separate. Conform. And we're going to edit smoothing. And let's listen to that. You guessed it, we're going to do the kick. Capture selection, analyze, and it's very important that we take a look and make sure everything is on point, but I believe everything is on point, and then we just move on from there. And right now, I'm going to just do this as fast as possible. Well, actually, I'm not going to edit smoothing. Check this out. Check what happens if we don't edit smoothing. You hear those pops and clicks, right? So, smooth. Let's play back. You don't hear it anymore, so it's very important you do that. Now, let's play everything back together with the click track, and let's see how it sounds. Sweet, everything's done. So enter on the keyboard. We can close uh, Beat Detective, Control A, and we're gonna hold down Shift, Alt, and the number three. We're gonna consolidate everything. Control S, save your project, and you're pretty much done. As I said earlier, it is possible to use Beat Detective on the whole entire session. It's a lot more work, but it is possible, but I prefer to work track by track. It's gonna be more accurate. So I really hope you guys got something out of this video. So if you wanna know when I upload a video, See this bell? Click it. Send me notifications for this channel. Press save. And every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to know.